Welcome to our last time together of, this isn't as much STEM as it is just some recycled science activities. We can use it as STEM because we can really think out some problems and work some things through to make it work better. But I want to show you how to use toilet paper tissue rolls. Now there's a lot of talk about toilet paper. Maybe you've heard it in your home about all the toilet paper that apparently everyone is stockpiling in their house. So I know everyone's going out and getting extra toilet paper and I thought this would be a great project for us to do at the end of the school year. So the first thing we're gonna do is gonna make a launcher. Um, it's gonna be a cotton ball launcher and I've already got, I did use a paper towel tube for this. So what I have done is I cut part of the paper towel tube off and I've made two slits on each side and I've just stuck two rubber bands inside. Then I took a paper towel, um, I mean toilet paper, tissue roll and I just to make it skinnier I made it tighter and taped it so that we have what we have here it's already taped and then I didn't have a hole puncher if you have a hole puncher that's the best thing but you want to put a, two holes one on each side to slide your pencil through I if this is something that you don't have a hole puncher get your parents to do so the way you're gonna make your launcher is the smaller end is gonna go inside and you're gonna take each rubber band and you're gonna attach it to each side of the pencil. So I'm gonna put a cotton ball in, and you may have to try this a couple times and work with it, but you're gonna pull back on your lever and you're gonna shoot the cotton ball in. The next thing I'm gonna show you is how you can actually use half of the toilet paper roll to make this little, I put weeds in it because I don't, I'm not growing plants, but you could actually plant seeds to start plants that you would have in your garden. And all you need to do is take one um, half of your paper towel tube, and you're just gonna cut some slits down in the bottom. And as you cut them, um, you might need to get a grunt to do this if it's, if it's heavy. My toilet paper tubes are not heavy. You're going to kind of just fold it in. And I will tell you, and just make, kind of make a bottom of this planter. And I will tell you that um, masking tape or duct tape works the best, but that's not what I have. And again, I told you we're going to use what we have. So I am going to just tape the bottom of where I made those slits. And it's going to kind of go up a little bit, which is fine. And then if you were going to plant some seeds in it, you would just put some dirt in there and you would plant your seeds. And then once it starts to grow, we're going to pretend like this is something I want to grow. These are, maybe you want them to grow. I don't like clover and the purple flowers. They're pretty, but I tend to pull them out of my yard. But if you um, did that, then you could then pull up your plant as it got bigger, keep it in the house away from the cold weather. And then you could go plant it. So peppers, tomatoes, starting from seeds. So maybe you want to try to start some seedlings in your house and see if you can plant them then later once they get stronger and bigger out in your yard. Next thing, I have taken a balloon. Um, I've already attached it, but I've taken a balloon and I've just cut off the top of the balloon. And these are special balloons, believe it or not, that have actually have confetti in them. And so it worked out for me because I'm going to show you how to make a confetti launcher. So I just cut the top off. And these great balloons had big confetti that I have now cut into smaller pieces that are here, right here, that you can see that I cut smaller. Now, the balloon, now that it's been cut, you can stretch it, which is what I've already done, to stretch it around your um, toilet paper tube. So you would just stretch it around and it would be tight. This is one that I've cut and showed you. And I don't have a bunch of extra ones laying around, so I've done one here tied a knot in the bottom so let me show you that you would tie a knot just where you normally would tie a knot on a balloon okay you would tie that knot and then I'm gonna put my confetti in here and I'm gonna make a confetti launcher so you pull and there you go confetti launcher you don't need to buy those fancy ones look at that you can do whatever colors you wanted to do and our last thing that we're gonna do is Again, with another toilet paper tissue um, roll, you're going to cut a simple shape. I knew that a lot of boys would be interested, so I had Brianna do a Batman. I'm going to go, we're going to have to go somewhere it's dark because it's really bright and light, but you're going to cut a shape. It could be any shape. Uh, foam would be best. We didn't have any foam, so we just used some cardstock. And I'm going to take this in the bathroom, and Janiya is going to show you, or I'm going to show you, she's going to tape it so you can see what you can do on your wall. in the bathroom because it's broad daylight and so you can see better. And put up something white, but you can do this against your wall at night. And as you go farther back, you can see the Batman is getting bigger. And we could see this better, like I said, if we were in the dark and we had it against our wall. But if you notice, you could get it closer and make it smaller. 
go farther back and make it bigger. So you could actually put a Batman, look at that, up on your ceiling of your room. Wouldn't that be cool? Or any other thing. Girls, if you want to put something like a peace sign or you want to make a flower or you want to make a cross, whatever design you want, this is something you could go and do. And I'm just trolling it around, but I'm thinking it'd be cool to have fish or stars. So think about doing this. Think about saving it. Think about having a flashlight. Something to do on a rainy day. I kind of like it more on the ceiling than I did, so that's why I'm leaving it up there. But um, I hope that you'll try this. I love it. So whether you make our cotton ball launcher, our lovely confetti popper, our plant um, seedling trays, or if you make our great um, flashlight shadow maker puppet, um, any of these things, I try some of them, try at least one of them. And I just want to say that I've had so much fun this summer. We're going to do probably an extra bonus um, video for you to have this summer, so stay tuned for that. Just with some ideas that Mrs. Dabrowski really wanted to do and didn't have time to get to. I want to encourage you though this summer, in case this is the last video you watch, and maybe you're going to go somewhere um, with school being over. Um, I just want to encourage you to use your brains this summer to think outside of a box, to think of a problem and a way to solve it. And I'm really hoping that you will learn to love STEM as much as I am because I believe that God has given us brains to help figure things out. Um, there are problems in life that you think you might even get frustrated with. Make some inventions this summer. This is how. Do you know that God uses people to change our world? It took Thomas Edison and his invention of the light bulb for us to be able to have light at night. Now people are coming up with, you may know this, I did not, they're coming up with light bulbs that I guess kind of power themselves up so that if you buy them when your electricity goes out, they hold power and you can have light in your light bulb for like five or six hours while you wait for the electricity to get turned back on. Cool stuff that somebody had to think about a problem and fix it. And you know, the great thing is, is that our problem, our deep problem is the sin in our life, the things we do against God, and we don't have to think of a way to fix that because God did that. God sent his son Jesus to die for us so that our sin problem is fixed as long as we put our trust and ask him to be in charge of our lives. And so I pray that each of you have done that, and I wanted to just say that because that's the most important thing. If we haven't learned anything together during STEM, I hope that you've paid attention to how much God loves you and how much that he created you uniquely to do certain things and how I want you to glorify him, but he designed you to glorify him. So I wanna encourage you to use that mind, to use your hands, to use your gifts. And I'm gonna end on this. I can't help but talk about the toilet paper and I know it seems silly, but boys and girls, there are a lot of people who don't have any older people that can't get to the store. Make sure that your family is ministering with safe distance, of course. Check on your neighbors, though. We had a neighbor who didn't have any, and they weren't asking. If we hadn't asked them, they wouldn't have told us. So please make sure that you're looking outside of yourself. Remember, not in a mirror, in a magnifying glass. Can't wait to see you again, and I hope that you are finishing well and that you have a great summer. And stay tuned, because I am going to send out a video next week. So bye!